Hello guys, it is Everything Epan here, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn Build 4039 in VirtualBox. Another one of the Milestone 6 builds of Longhorn, um, which was released in the mid-2003 days. Um, this was released on August, in August of that year, and so we're going to go ahead and just get straight into the tutorial. There's going to be four links in the description. There's going to be a link to VirtualBox, one for WinRAR, one for the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO since we need it to change the BIOS state, and a link for the Windows Longhorn 4039 ISO. So let's go ahead and open up VirtualBox here. We're going to create a new virtual machine, and we're just going to go ahead and call this Windows Longhorn Build 4039. And then for the operating system, we're just going to go ahead and select um, <clears throat> Windows XP 32-bit. Click Next. You can bump this up a little bit if you want. I'm going to bump it up to about maybe, you know, let's do a gig of RAM. But you can leave it at the recommended if you would like. Go ahead and click Next. Then create our virtual hard drive by clicking Create. Click Next twice. And then it's going to say 10 gigabytes in there. Go ahead and create that to create 10 gigabyte uh, virtual hard drive. So here we're going to go ahead and click settings and go to storage and then where this empty disk is you're going to want to browse for the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO which again is linked in the description if you do not yet have it already. Uh, so go ahead and browse for that in your directory. Mine's just right here since I've used it so much and go ahead and click OK and then go ahead and start the virtual machine. Now the bio state is uh, going to be in the description as well if you can't see it on the screen um, but I'm going to put it up here on the screen for you guys as well so go ahead and type in the date command in MS-DOS here and it's going to show the current date here for you and what you need to type in is 08-28-2003 and I'm going to put this in the description again like I said if you cannot see this so it should be August 8th, 28th of the year 2003 so now after you've done that, you can go ahead and insert the Windows Longhorn ISO. And the product key for this will also be in the description. Go ahead and restart your virtual machine now. The product key of this will also be with the ISO from the link in the description. Um, there could be a couple links there, one for WinWorld PC, one for Google Drive. Not sure what I'm going to do just yet. Um, but... I'm also going to type it up on the screen once it comes up, just in case you guys uh, want to save some time by doing that. So go ahead and when this Welcome to Windows Setup screen comes up, go ahead and click Continue. It's going to ask for the product key, so I'm going to go ahead and type that in right now. If I can type, I can't type very well right now. So. There it is right here. If you cannot see this, um, go ahead and get the, it should be in a text file from the link in the description in a um, folder that you would get. Um, so you can pause the screen to read this if you'd like. Um, if not, it will be in the description. Um, go ahead and click yes to accept the terms of agreements here and click continue. And then uh, don't just go ahead and click continue because it's not going to work for some reason just click this little disk zero you can format it using NTFS if you'd like go ahead and click continue and it's going to uh, confirm that you are proceeding to install it on that disk and then go ahead and click continue couldn't talk there for a sec so now you can name your computer whatever you would like I just usually like to name it the name of the operating system and if there's a build number and then go ahead and click continue and it's now going to go ahead and start installing Windows Longhorn for you. So this can take a little bit of time to complete. So just let this sit and run for you. And I'll be back once we hit our first restart point. So we are already on the first restart point here. Uh, it's going to come up with this little screen here. Just click finish and it will automatically reboot for you. I'll go ahead and just leave the disk in just in case you still it still needs it to install some more files. But it's going to pop up with press any key to boot from the CD. Do not press any key. Uh, just let it load and it's going to load into Longhorn setup, the second part of the setup here. 
and it's going to say starting setup and then after that it's going to say that it can take about 10 minutes for it to complete so this will take a little bit of time it will not take 10 minutes though um, so just let this sit here for a little bit and it should complete here in a couple minutes so I'll be back once it either restarts or it finishes here as you can see it's already installing some stuff you can see the build number down here is 4039 and once that goes away it should come up with the logon screen here and then that will be it so just let it load for a little bit longer here and then it will pop up so it's going to restart after doing that uh, little process there and once again don't press any key on that screen and it's going to load up into the uh, boot up screen here and it should automatic it might automatically log you in I'm not sure if it does or not if not uh, it's as easy as just doing the control alt delete method with the keyboard um, so it's gonna load up here uh, it might be this black screen here for a little bit that's completely normal just let it load and it'll be um, heading onto the logon screen momentarily for you guys there so after a while it will load up into the operating system for you it will automatically log you in and here it is here is Windows Longhorn build 4039 um, you can cancel these driver installations that it's popping up with uh, it's just stuff it's trying to install but it won't be able to so um, you can see it's got the blue theme here and uh, if you get to this screen then you've successfully installed Windows Longhorn build 4039 thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoy these videos and these kind of tutorials make sure you slap a like down below uh, <coughs> excuse me and uh, if you have any ideas for future tutorials or any sort of future video um, because I'm obviously going to be running out of tutorials sometime, uh, maybe not soon, but definitely sometime in the future. Um, give me your ideas. I mean, I've taken some ideas into consideration, um, but they just don't seem, some of them seem good. Some of them seem like, eh, I don't know if I want to do it, but it kind of just depends. So, um, just leave them down below, leave anything down below for me and, um, I'll be sure to get back to some of you guys on that. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. And if you want to make sure to be notified whenever I upload a video, please hit the bell button to be notified. So thank you guys for watching this video again. Make sure to subscribe once again if you have not done so already. And I will see you guys in the next video.